Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we're gonna uh, change these buttons so we can change the quality level of our game so the player can go low settings if he's on a bad PC and on a ultra setting if he or she is on a good PC. So what we're gonna need is uh, we need uh, like a menu controller and you're gonna make it by making an empty game object, rename a menu controller and just add the script to it. So I made a script called menu controller and this is for a previous video that uh, is a part of a series. So this one is menu controller and you don't need all this, you just need uh, like these things here. So what you're gonna need is or you don't need these things, just ignore you know that. You need you need to do what do what I do now. So you're gonna write public void set quality. See? So that's gonna be the thing we can call and we're gonna make a function for it called void change quality. So this is our function. So we're gonna take this function and paste it up here. So now we can call it, and then we're gonna write the code. So first we say string, and it's gonna work like this. I'm gonna write the code, and then we're gonna talk about it, and then to explain it. So for some of you, it goes fast, and for others, it was be like normal day. So we have Unity Engine dot events dot events system dot current dot current select the game object dot name. So what is this? This is just actually so we are, we are getting the name of the item we are clicking. And what do we need this for? We need it for when we're gonna write this code, when we're gonna switch our level. So, if we have the case that someone pushed low, we want we, we want something to happen. What do we want to happen? We want it to say quality settings dot set quality level zero and break and the case if someone say push normal we're gonna say quality oh, quality settings that set quality level one so we're gonna gonna continue like this so we can just actually paste it this and we have actually five we have for normal high ultra and we're gonna change the numbers from one and two and one is a bit different so we're gonna delete it and we're gonna change these to no shadows so there we go so if someone push the button called low we're gonna change the quality settings to zero um, we can fast test this out with by going save this one and let it compile into our game so now it's compiling And while the things compile, we can go into the buttons we need. Is let's see, we have the video button, and then when we click that, we have the video panel, and in the panel we have settings, setting, and the button source. Yeah, these four. I'm gonna shift click down here, so we can take them all, give them all a function, take our menu controller, put it in. Say 
menu controller, set quality. So now when we run the game, we can push these buttons. So low, gonna change to low, normal. You see already here there's a difference in the ground. High. And even my PC is now getting a little bit mad. And then we have ultra. So the difference between high and ultra is like in the shadows. Okay. So they work. And now for take off shadows. I'm gonna go back into our code. Sorry, I just had a little bit uh, problem there. So now it's all fixed, ready for the shadow. So if, if at the shadow, we're going to type if quality settings dot shadows is equal to all. So it's a shadow quality dot all. Sorry, my bad. And then what? Well, then you say quality settings that shadow is equal to qual shadow quality does disable. And else, if it's not all but it is disabled, well, then you can say. Quality settings dot shadows equal to shadow quality dot all. So if it's currently uh, on all, well then we're gonna disable it. Else, if it's disabled, then set it to all. So let's see if that go into Unity. Here, yeah, find our. Problem call shadows and but for some reason I get a little bit of lag. This is probably because it has to be the same no, so we can call it no shadows. Is that how I wrote it? I wrote it like no shadows and I wrote no shadows. Cool. And the button No shadows. Wrong one. And on click, when I do the same menu controller, menu controller, set quality. And now when we press play, we can see that we have maybe have to look at the trees, but we can push here and remove all the shadows. Push again. And the shadows are back. So that is what we were meant to do in this video. But now the expla explanation now for us go around. If you go into edit and you go on to product settings and quality, you can find very low, low, medium, high, very high, ultra high, and different types of quality levels. And you can add some or you can uh, remove some. So these are zero. One, two, three, four, and you can change them if you want, but be careful about it. Um, there is like you know there's some games who have minimum requirements, so if you make one mi uh, mistake here, uh, people cannot play your game when they click it. They will come up with their area because some items will take a certain amount of computer specs to run so yeah but yeah this is where we find it and this is where the shadow is and we have other things you can change you can go in and call this distance as well as well and make make a code for that it's, it's the same type of code you're gonna make quality settings that shadow and then you can write okay what time of quality is it now uh, well this is shadow distance instead 
and what we're going to do with it and stuff like that okay great but uh, yeah feel free to subscribe feel free to request some videos thank you for watching